Maggie, welcome to the studio. The album's completely finished now, isn't it? And just about ready for release. At long last, it's completely finished. I think it's released in the 20th of February. Right, and you recorded it in New York? Yeah, four weeks it took me to record that album mm. uh, in New York. Why did you choose New York, Maggie? Well, I tried here. You see, this is the third time I've tried to make this solo album. First time I tried it in England, and uh, I wasn't very pleased with it, so we scrapped it. Mm. I went to America and made another one, which I wasn't pleased with, we scrapped it. Then I went into Atlantic Studios and recorded this one with Jerry Wexler. Mm. And how, I'm pleased with it. How yeah. much time then did you actually spend recording before you arrived at this finished A year. Album? I was in the studio for a year almost. Mm. Why did you reject the other things, particularly? Well, I, I felt that I wanted to do something completely different from Stone and the Crows. Mm. And Stone and the Crows albums and material-wise, I wanted to do something different. And uh, I'm very, very funny, you know, I, it was my first solo album and I wanted it to be right. Mm. So this is why it, it took so long. Jerry Wexler produced the album, didn't he? Who, who worked with you in America? You used all uh, American musicians, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, but was, I suppose you've heard it all before, folks. <laughs> <laughs> it was Chuck Green on bass, Cornell Dupree on guitar, and Sweet Inspirations, mm. Richard T on piano. They were really nice people to work with. Mm. And we got it down in a matter of three weeks. I think I recorded about 18 tracks, which we only used 10 of mm. in those three weeks. How different is it recording in America from recording in London? Is it very different, Maggie? No, well, no. Uh, uh, studios are the same all over, I believe. You know, certain studios have got a certain sound. And I think it's the very idea when you're in America. I mean, they work completely different from people in Britain. They make records, com you know, different from people in Britain. Mm. And I think it was the whole environment and the, the difference, that, you know, the American people that I was working with. It was, it was very, very good. It was a great experience for me working with those people, mm. especially Jerry Wexler. You, you've looked around quite a long way for the songs that you've chosen for the album. Yeah, well, you know, we went away for one weekend, and I'm not joking when I say this, Bob, I must have listened to about 250 songs. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, to try and pick, you know, say 25 sort of possible things, then we could, you know, knock it down to 10 tracks. Mm. And uh, I listened to everything from country rock to funk rock, or, you know, everything. Mm. And finally, you know, we recorded 25 songs, and then we picked 10 songs from that. Because actually on the album itself, there's a J.J. Cow song. Yes, there is. After Midnight, a, right. a John Prine song too. John Prine song, Souvenirs. Mm -hmm. uh, Peter Allen wrote me a song, who, uh, I like it actually, it's a very nice song. David Clayton Thomas wrote a song. Two guys that wrote uh, Killing Me Softly wrote a song. Mm. So it's a varied album. The material's completely, you know, it's very, very varied. Mm. Have you missed being on the road oh, this last year, maybe? It's been terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I go to America on the 25th of February mm. to work there, and then I'm looking very, very forward to coming back and do a tour here in Britain. Mm. How long are you going to be in the States? I think about six weeks all in we're going to be there. Mm. Mm. But when I get back on the road, it's been a long, long time. Yeah. You can't keep a good woman down. <laughs> it's been a long time. You've put a band together already, have you, Maggie? For yes. Uh, it was quite hard, actually, Bob, trying to get people together. There's lots of good musicians going around. Mm. There's lots of people, sort of friends and things, were telling me about different musicians. But most good musicians have got work, you know, that they've got a gig, they're out working. But I've got a band together, mm. very nice people, good players. So it took me about three weeks to get them together. Mm. But finally we've got it together, except we're looking for a good percussion player. <laughs> if there's any around. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to be in the band? Uh, well, guitar is a boy from Scotland. It's Huey Burns. Piano is Mike Moran. Paul Francis and drums. And uh, bass, Pat Donaldson. And I'm using three ladies called Thunder Thighs as the vocal backing group. Mm. As I say, I'm just looking for a good percussion player, and that'll be it all together. Mm. I've started rehearsing, so I'm really pleased. It's great. Yeah, is that the band that you're going to keep together now through uh, through the well, next year? As, as I say, the, the, these um, people in particular that I was speaking about, the people in the band, they do other things, and I think it's quite good. I, I wouldn't like to get another band together as such, Bob. Mm. I think that it's going to come. Actually, there's lots of people doing it. People are going to enjoy playing together, and if it's if it's okay with each other, you know people in, who want to play or me, just get together and we go out on the road and we play together. 
I mean, I couldn't have another band anymore because there's too many people. Life is such at the moment, there's too many things for people to do, you know, and I don't think it's fair for maybe five or six people to stick together, you know, all the time. Mm. There's too much musically to do. Talking about doing a tour in the summer here, Maggie, have any of the dates been organised yet? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I think my managers at the moment are working on it, but mm. I'm definitely, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit here in the summer, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> any idea how long the tour's going to be? Here in Britain? Mm. I'd say about, I'd like to do about a four week, five week tour. Mm. Be nice. What kind of gigs do you think you'll do? Oh, universities, you know, the usual thing. Mm. Mm. It'd be nice. Got a whole new stage thing together, which is very, very good. Mm. So, mm. we'll see. Yeah. Anyway, Maggie, it's really nice. Thanks for coming in and Thank speaking with us. Thank you very much. Us, and we'll see you very soon. Thanks a lot. Okay. Maggie Bell.